Great home, meteorologist Garrett James standing by tracking what we can expect here in Utah. Hi, Garrett. No, honestly, he hit the nail on the head. We're, we're really not staying all that warm despite temperatures trying to be above average. It's not that warm after all. Let's go ahead and take a look at winter alerts because it's cold enough that we're seeing winter weather advisories, especially the further the south you go in the southern mountains, still looking at those winter weather advisories. Those are going to last from now until two o'clock in the morning, and that's because we're actually going to be expecting this precipitation to ease down and slow down just a little bit. But let's go ahead and take a look at the radar right now. Even compared to just at the beginning of the show, we're already seeing a little bit less activity in northern Utah. Still a few valley showers and a few mountain snow showers being possible right now, but we can see in southern Utah it's mainly some snow in the upper elevations, but a little bit of rain down in the valleys. And that's actually what this storm system has been so far. A great example of just mountain snow and a valley rain event. Let's go ahead and take a look at the future cast. It does show that we're right on track with this precipitation, but by 10 o'clock we can can see a lot of it starting to ease up and ease out of the area and by two o'clock in the morning when those advisories expire we'll be looking at almost an empty radar almost but take a look out to the west we'll be tracking another round of precipitation working its way gradually into the area and for the most part we're going to stay dry on Monday especially the further north that you live but the further to the south and to the west that you live the more likely it is that you'll see a few isolated to scattered showers but that's not our only rain chances. They continue over into Tuesday where it looks like we'll see some scattered showers, especially along the Wasatch Front. Not so much for the southern portion of the state by Wednesday. The southern portion should dry out, but by Thursday, it does look like another round heads our way. We'll be tracking snow showers and maybe even a rain-snow mixture for the valleys on Thursday for the Wasatch Front. But notice all the way down to the south, a little bit of rain-snow mixture could be possible as far south as Washington County, but it may just be the far northern end of the county. But I am anticipating this clearing the area by Friday and High pressure does try and build in, but one thing, and I'll show this on our upper level maps here in just a second, but it does try and show that maybe another round, a quick shot of wintry weather could be possible early Saturday morning. So let's go ahead and take a look at that upper level future cast. We can see frontal system is going to be moving through the area, and we can see that low pressure system clearing the area by about Wednesday. However, another system is just to the west. Here's that ridge of high pressure right here starting to build up, but notice we've got just that ridge tries to cut back into the beehive state and that's what I believe is going to try and give us that little bit of last shot of precipitation before high pressure truly builds back in. Let's go ahead and take a look at temperatures in the 30s and 40s primarily across the beehive state. But lows tonight show that we're mainly going to be looking at the 30s, 41 for St. George, but highs tomorrow going to see a mixed bag of the 40s and 50s for the Wasatch Front 7-day forecast. It shows that we'll be looking at precipitation chances through Thursday, dry Friday, but a slight chance on Saturday with temps staying in the 40s. St. George, on the other hand, scattered showers Monday and Tuesday. After that, we pretty much dry out.